And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana LeBlanc. We're going to be playing some Dragon Reputation deck. Uh, we'll have a Reputation deck where we need to strike for 5 plus damage with the LeBlanc because we'll have some different Reputation cards. Um, the main one that we're going to be having with that is going to be um, Whisper Words. But we have other cards that, that care about the 5 plus power. We have things like Reckoning and Bloody Business. Those care about that. So... Um, so we're going to have like some heavy hitters with LeBlanc, Glory Seeker, Snapper if they block it. But then Legion Marauders. Legion Marauder is another good way for the reputation. You just got to attack twice to turn Legion Marauder into a five power unit. And so that can happen from like having multiple Legion Marauders. We're going to have our strength in numbers. Be able to put Legion Marauders in play also. But then we're also going to have our Dragons. Um, they start at lower power. Shivana starts at three, but attacks up to four. And Screeching Dragon starts at 4, but these two both have Fury. So if you're Shivana, your Screeching Dragon are killing stuff, they're going to be getting buffed up um, over the 5 for the Reckoning, and then they'll also be helping with the Bloody Business and stuff like that. But then finally, all of these units, uh, you know, doing all this damage, like Legion Marauders with, you know, doing a lot of damage, these dragons, um, all that kind of stuff, is going to level up LeBlanc super fast because all these things hit so hard. And then once we have our leveled up LeBlanc, we'll be able to get uh, mirror images and we can make like multiple Shivanas. Like think of have like leveled up Shivana, get another copy of it. That sounds great. Or just like a copy of a Screeching Dragon is awesome. And of course, copies of Legion Marauders also really good too. And then finally, with it being Demacia, we get some protection with Sharp Sight. We also get Relentless Pursuit so we can attack again. <laughs> and you attack with these Marauders and Shivanas again. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, we got Egghead Researcher that's going to also create some dragons for us, but also be an early blocker. So it looks like a pretty good deck. Looks very solid. We got removal, we got some card advantage, and we got some really, really heavy hitters. So let's get to it. Let's go and try some Shivana LeBlanc. We'll go play our five games in ranked. I think we got a lot of good synergy stuff um, with our deck. Okay, so we got something a little different here. Spooky Kindred, Noxus. This is going to be a removal heavy deck. Probably Go Hards. Probably. I guess we'll send Screeching Dragon back, but Screeching Dragon's pretty awesome. So I like Sharp Sight protecting Legion Marauder. That's that's pretty nice. They're sitting there with their removal spells, like, why don't you play something so I can kill it? And I'm like, I don't got anything to play. Let's have some fun. Ooh, a pass. A pass. I wasn't expecting that. Fire and fury burn in me. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Whoa, they're a Legion Marauder deck as well. I could, you know, give Challenger to one of these. Like, give Challenger to Shivana, kill Legion Marauder. And we do have the ability to... Um, yeah, that's just, that's just gonna happen. As I say, we do have the ability to sharp sight, bloody business, maybe like next round. No, thank you. Triple Legion Marauder, no, thank you. It's kind of weird how much you play, like, mirror-type matches. Right, like, we're just playing Legion Marauder decks, so we just get paired against another Legion Marauder deck. Seems to happen a lot. Suffer my fury. Fortunately, the Shivana is just hitting for four all the time, though. Pull the for whisper words and stuff. Give me another dragon. The Imperial. Unlike anything I've ever seen. Ooh, what's that noise? 
weak willed fool. This is your end. probably more worried about ruination than what I should be but that's why I'm not really playing like Shivana also is because of ruination I don't like my hand much at all Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Just Glory Seeker just isn't going to be doing anything right here. Man, I do not like the cards we've been drawing. Do you not like the cards that we have been drawing? They only have four cards, though. I guess we do have a lot more cards in hand than they, than they do, even though I'm not liking mine too much. So you're only a 4 5 right now? Right, 4 5. I'm gonna save this. I'll save this for Lone's Pursuit to see what happens. Maybe get the Shivana. Uh, they're not going to attack into Shivana. That's too bad. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So this will give the fury for Shivana, or because because right now Shivana's dying to the one one, and also and you know, like this thing's dying. So seeing if they like dispense a man and get underneath ruination, you know, get this, um, get this LeBlanc and relentless pursuit in. Without the other, places to go, people to be. Victory requires a sharp blade. Gross. It's fast now. It knows. I shouldn't have played that five one. I shouldn't have played that five one, because now I can't I can't strafing strike to go along with Rolon's pursuit. That wasn't that wasn't good. That's a good draw. I know what lurks in the shadows. She may have caught a glimpse. But more soon. Okay. I shall take it. You dare. 
and the relentless pursuit of happiness has found us. There we go, we are 1-0. Oh. GG's. So just Nocturne with Piltoverns on. I I would have to think this would have to be a Kyrian Sumpworker deck. Like that's what it just seems like it's gotta be. Um It doesn't really make sense for it to be anything else. I guess we have to mulligan all those. I felt like Sharpsight would be good against Kyrian Sumpworker. Don't have to play the Egghead Researcher on two. Can play it on three. I do want to kill that thing though. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. And Viola's Fox is really cool. No attacks. Follow the tracks. I'll attack. I'm not, I ain't scared. We got dragons. Yeah, they scared. Let's rise dragons. So you have to imagine that they have another Sump Worker in hand, that they played the other one. They took that card super, super fast. Hopefully it's not another Sump Worker. Can you improve perfection? I would have loved to have you last round, Legion Marauder. I would have just doing nothing. What if you don't want to live? Then we shall not join you. No, I guess I don't. Basically because of Iterative Improvement, I don't play Relentless Pursuit. Because Iterative Improvement will make it at 5-3, which is uh, too big to survive an attack, or I can just block with Sharp Sight. And they are incentivized to attack, not only to get the ability, but you know you, you don't want to just like sit back in the nice screeching dragon, unless they have an, a more iterative improvement in hand that they uh, want to be able to target this thing again. That could certainly be the case. I'm sorry, Envelos Fox. Would like to to uh, play you first, but I just feel like I need to get the attack in immediately. I'll save, I'll save Sharp Sight. And do this while it's a free card. Safety disengage. What's up, Shivana? First big mission. First one? Yeah, I'll be surprised if we lose this from here. After that. Getting... You know, getting three cards out of their hand.
Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, well, that'll do. Two and oh. I was thinking of like getting, you know, the Fury, get that thing to two power, so then I get to block. Alright, let's defeat Callista. This has gotta be gotta be a bad matchup, because Cythria, right? Like Cythria is just pretty, pretty rough, unfortunately. Well, Mulligan one Shivana. Because that's basically just three mana, make it a challenger. Oh, Cythria is rough. <laughs> this is the deck that I will um, just in, in general, like for the uh, seasonal tournament, if I'm playing against any Cythria decks, I'm banning them. Because I play slower decks and Cythria is brutal. Yeah, Relentless Pursuit could help us out a lot for this one. That's true. The blade, Nothing. Kill. Pass. 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 Will this hit for seven? We need go aggro. We need to go aggro. Let us hit for seven. Are we lucky? Lucky number seven? Okay. Third of the life total. Gone right there. The Undying. I think I am just passing again. I think. having Let's see. Having these spells available for... Yeah, I think I just pass again. I don't know. I guess I could just play another Glory Seeker. Uh, maybe it does just play a glory seeker. Victory requires a sharp blade. I think I open attack. All right, we'll definitely not open attack anymore. Ugh. Oh, right, well, that was a great round for them. I serve my people with pride. I'll cut them apart. Face me. If they have more black spears, they have more black spears. I can't really stop that. But I don't love the 5-1. If the 5-1's gonna be pretty valuable, I don't really love it getting just just trading with that 3-2, which is not nearly as valuable. I kinda hate this whirling death. Again, whirling death not performing well. Um so obviously this is just gonna be the seven seven. There's no way the opponent doesn't have the best thing they can have. So we know they're going to. Vengeance or something like that, are they? Sure hope not. Don't have any better option than this. And I could I could go with any like the middle two are just the easiest to kill as far as whirling death is concerned. The Screeching Dragon, I just figured if they would randomly have like a Concerned Strike or a, um, or a Vengeance or something like that, I didn't want to have it like all in on the Screeching Dragon. But obviously I did want the Screeching Dragon to be 5 power for Reckoning. Don't know if that would really matter though. 
Oh, come on. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. Death begins Maybe calling strike needs to be something else. Maybe calling strike needs to be like concerted strike. It could concer like th that's the card that we're missing in this matchup, right? Concerted strike allows us to kill larger things that I just can't right now. And with how we can already kill like smaller stuff anyway, maybe we just don't need calling strike. It it's just this is a very good calling strike metagame. Of course, this thing has fearsome. I don't get to block it with these smaller things. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen? So close. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. That was a heck of a sharp side draw. Wait, because this is, yeah, so this is 16. We do, of course, know that they have a Vanguard Redeemer in hand from the Stalking Shadows. We don't know anything about the other four cards right now. I would, I would not say if the sharp side was rally, it was GG, because they just play sp they play spectral matron, Cythria. I don't know. If, I don't think we would kill them, right? Because then this would have only done five damage. Because like this, this wouldn't have died, and they would have. Right, but then it would have killed my challenger, and they'd be at four, and they'd have a fourteen power life steal thing. And two other blockers, and I'd have five attackers. I guess, but they don't. Doesn't look like they do have that. And they're telling me with by emotes they don't have anything that good. Today we turn the tide of war. So if I, yeah, if I would have, I mean. Even like strafing with Thrasher, if that's the case, like you don't, we wouldn't have the the ability to respond to be able to do that. We don't have the priority to do that. Easy to dragon. If that was a rally, we would not. Have, if they had the Spectral Matron Sithri, we would not have killed them. With what, with what they've had, we would have killed them. Okay, so I'm hoping no Spectral Matron Sithri. I'm really hoping no that. Probably worth it. It's so close. Four to one, it's so close. Okay, we got there with the dragons. No spectral matron Sithria. That's a rarity, and we ended up getting there. That was a clutch sharp sight. Draven Ezreal. Okay, good deck. Good deck. I'm going to. Um, I kind of want to keep all this, honestly, but I guess we're going to send the bloody business back. And maybe the Screeching Dragon. Screeching Dragon's so good, though. Like, both these cards are awesome. I I kind of want to just keep everything. Not going to lie. I'm going to keep it all. You think this is the worst matchup? I think that Cythria one's probably worse, but we, you know, it worked out well. But 
Um, we'll see. If we can get a bunch of dragons, we should be fine. This glory... I'm playing the Glory Seeker as bait. Bait for removal. Like, I'd, I'll just trade Glory Seeker for Mystic Shot or... You know, for Mystic Shot, get excited, that kind of stuff. I guess two for two trade. Mystic Shot's a valuable removal spell. I'm I'm using that to protect my Legion Marauder. At least that's the hope. Time for the main event. Let's have some fun. Axes coming right up. Good. Sorry, I guess open my eye. Crows will have what's left. Got an axe with your name on it. So that means they have another Draven? No, they're just trading. Okay. I'll take that trade. I will take that trade. This matchup is much easier for basically any deck, but whenever they don't have Draven, right? Because Draven just filtered through and got them three cards with the spinning axes. Got three free cards. It's a lot of cards. So they have seven cards, I have five. Because of those free cards, I do have Whisper Words. Cool. I know I could have played Whisper Words right there, but I I didn't, you know, because I just wasted mana. So I, you know, you may think, well, you should have. But if I play Whisper Words, then they get more aggressive. And so I was hoping that by not playing Whisper Words, they wouldn't be aggressive, which I think was the case. So Strength in Numbers gives me two mana. Man, Draven is so good. Time to make an appearance. Watch and learn. So the onus is on them to play something, so they got ten cards. They still have ten cards, they gotta play something first. For the money makers. Yeah, it won't be easy to win. Won't be easy. My move. Humanity is obsolete. Fortunately, the Riddle Pursuit, not too good of a draw. Shimano's good. Let's do this. So obvious. Useless pawn. So obvious. All right, so back to ten cards. Definitely wish I could keep Shivana from dying. I'm dying from a culling strike, but I can't. Whirling Death being in combat. Why do you have to be in combat, Whirling Death?
Going death needing to be in combat has been hurting us. Okay, well. I kept that bloody business and that has looked like a terrible mistake. Because unfortunately I have seven cards in hand and six of them have no text right now. Witness perfection, meatbags. Okay. Suffer my fury. Could help. Nope, doesn't help. <laughs> Check me out. I thought you'd never ask. I just can't get this thing to five power. I think this is game over on our side. Yep. Okay, so that shows the the problem of not playing single combat, like where you like single combat is what we needed much more than those other cards. Single combat, concerted strike, those kind of cards. Threats. Okay, Thresh Nasus. Much better matchup for us. Like, Whirling Death is going to be able to be used a lot easier. Now, how do we do with Nat? How do we deal with Nasus? Not exactly sure yet, but I do like turn three Marauder, turn four Marauder, turn five double Marauder. I do like that. It's gonna it's gonna be slow. So if they have a real fast hand. Gonna hurt. I guess I could have played the snapper. Let's have some fun. We love it when they run. Okay, not good. Not good. So that means I'm not going turn five, the eight drop. Look what I found. Come on, boys. Look upon me. These last two games, our cards have not lined up versus theirs. Their cards have really lined up really well against what we've, what we've been doing. So worst case scenario would be them having Thresh. An even worse, more worst case scenario would be like Thresh plus removal spell, but so it's still like removal spell, like Vile Feast or. Ooh, neither. Okay. So it's gonna be a 5 4. It's gonna trade with the 4 1. So they could still go Vile Feast, kill Shivana with it right here. Atreus! Quit struggling. Thank you so much, Atreus. I appreciate that. The Twitch Prime sub. That's a pour. That's really nice. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Only at two? Are those whisper words? Seems like we should have more than that. Places to go. So I'm talking about it like everything lining up very well for them. Smoke and mirrors. What a treat. 
I guess you just do, do last night, right? Give them a chance! Yeah, Reckoning would be really nice to draw. But looks like we're going to need something that is uh, fast speed. So any kind of fight spell. Well, that's not so good. We're going to need two fight spells. And that's just not possible. Exact lethal, unfortunately. Looks like they had atrocity in hand also. All right, so everything really lined up very well for our opponents in both of those last two games, but the the Draven Ezreal one, we just you know kind of had too much nonsense, and that one they had a, a really great Thresh Nasus hand. So GGS, you know, like we're of Reckoning could have helped, but um, so I was really unimpressed by Whirling Death, but like Whirling Death would have been good, that that last one. I think we just gotta probably have some I don't like the Culling Strikes either. Maybe we probably have to have some single combats, or maybe just some of like the, maybe like do we want Stun Ravenous Flock? Like this deck's pretty close. You know, like I think our, our units were generally very good. Generally, our units were, were very good. And, so, you know, like, the fight spells can, can be good. You know, like, we went 3-2 in ranked, right? Like, can't complain too much about the deck. And, like, Reckoning was awesome. Whisper Word's awesome. I think there needs to be some kind of cleaning up around the edges. Probably it starts with Thrashing Snapper. Yeah, Thrashing Snapper never was any good. Like, we never got, like, yeah, this, yeah, Thrashing Snapper need, can go. Because it's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually, like, turn into a 5-1. I think that's a myth. I don't think I've ever seen it happen. I wonder if this would be better with Dragon Chows. You know, like maybe, maybe like the Dragon Chows are necessary to like grow the Shivana and Screeching Dragon a little bit because you know we saw that, um, you know, difficult for like the bloody business with those. Maybe, maybe that's what we need was um, the Dragon Chows. The thing is, is like Dragon Chow does have like some some low downside, right? If you don't have the dragons, but it's so good with Shivana. I think I would try that out. I think I would try Dragon Chow here. Game Boy Rob, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everybody from Game Boy Rob stream. We just finished up our, we got our schedule up here. We just finished up our third deck, Shivana LeBlanc, going through some some changes. Welcome everybody. Um, yeah, I, I'd probably say that. I'd probably say maybe we get some Dragon Chows in here. Um, we have nine total dragons, like Egghead Researcher making them, and then Screeching Dragon Shivana. I think that could help out Shivana. Um, help Shivana get to the four, so then Shivana attacks and is a five, and then enables bloody business. I think so. And then I would I would take out Whirling Death and put in single combat. I think that that hurt a decent amount. And I would take out the other Culling Strike and play single combat. I think single combats would help us out. Just I know it's not like amazing with LeBlanc, but it it can be good with like bigger bigger Marauders. It's great with the dragons. It's it's amazing with the dragons. And you just don't have to be in combat. That hurt us m many games. So there we go. Those are a few changes that I would make. Because we saw that a lot. Like whenever I attack with Shivana, they wouldn't block it. And so like I, I wasn't able to like really turn on Whirling Death anyway. But I think we're close. I think the deck is pretty close. I can I can uh, perfectly... I can see just re leaving Relentless Pursuit. I'd be perfectly fine leaving that card. Um, I'm interested in Sharpened Resolve. Interested. Also interested in Concerted Strike. We talked about that, like, for the larger units. Um, I could see leaving Relentless Pursuit and playing a Concerted Strike. I think I would do that. Yeah, because the larger units can give us trouble also. So there we go. But it's close. That's a, that's a pretty good Shivana deck. We got If you like these Shivana decks, we got Shivana Spotlight tomorrow. No, you don't really need the Rally with Marauders. I know it's, it's cool and everything, but at that point of the game, if you have, like, you know, multiple Marauders in play that are already attacked... Like, you're already doing good, right? Like, that's 
that's not really a part of the game, a point of the game, like where it's too difficult to win. I think that maybe having like something for like a Nasus or, or a larger unit or other dragons, I think that that's going to be more helpful. All right, so there we go. Good 3-2 with Shivana LeBlanc. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these changes. Hopefully, uh, you think these changes could work. And if you try out this deck, try out this newer version and give me that feedback. What do you think of this newer version? I'd like to hear. But that's going to be it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.